Today we will talk about the cheapest iPhone which you can buy in 2023 and use. It is iPhone SE, the first SE version 1. So it looks like this and it feels very handy. It's a boxy design which you can see and right now 12, 13, 14 everyone is you know new latest iPhone is using the same design from here and it, you have got a headphone jack in here as well. So I'm using this phone for a couple of days despite on being you know too small. So that is one of the major drawback and the battery is decent you know as the screen is small. So if you have a good battery you can you know use it but the battery cost is not that much even you know it's this phone is only 2200 so you can consider buying this phone you know if you want to just experience the iPhone and uh, you know Apple OS iOS so this is a one of the good option and uh, it runs on 15.3 you know uh, the software version iOS 15.3 wherein it is 15.7.3 actually so this runs all the apps latest app and i have asked on the apple service center and they said this phone is still secure for upcoming couple of years okay so that's the best part of the apple like uh, this the 15.7.3 was a uh, you know released on 2022 and in 23 you can see it's uh, in this phone in se version 2 you have got 16.3 know 15.7 and 16.3 so very you know just one version beside you know behind so apart from that everything is as you can see 16.3 anyways apart from that everything is decent like if you talk about if you compare to this phone so the YouTube if you open like everything is so smooth not like that it takes long time to load nothing so you can see that so you can easily use it and uh, if you do any other stuff like if you are opening Apple map okay let's open Apple map as you can see this opens this is because the first time you're opening is and it has one you know as you can see stores it have one gigabytes of RAM but if you compare to any Android phone you get confused because here in Apple this all the applications are very light like if you open Amazon you never feel like anything lagging or anything this is the first time it's loading as you can see is is better than any decent Android phone okay like if I open it again it already stored as you can see that so ev so even with being with 1 GB RAM you can see everything is stored in there so at least four to five applications it can store easily okay your email and everything everything all right so as you can see it's my SMS is also stored so exactly so what I talk about like only drawback is the screen size as you can see this is the entry-level Samsung phone like J7 J2 actually so it's even smaller than that this is a very small phone so this is the SC 4.7 this is a 4 inch skin so in today's state you can get this phone some around of, of 6,000 7,000 rupees but still is better than any Android phone I would say okay applications and everything is buttery smooth and you should consider it what I can say now let's talk about the camera how is the camera so being an iPhone you know camera is one of his one of his very important like feature and as you can see it's a decent camera very good camera actually so it has a very low battery I'm sorry about that I didn't charge it so the camera quality is really good my this phone is losing focus just give me a moment I'm recording it in one hand so as you can see that so no focus problem if you talk about the front camera so that's a back camera as you can see and if you talk about the front camera that's how it is as you can see the focus of the front camera is not bad now even if you put this phone as you can see that front camera is very good it does not have the wireless charger though but it has the Apple you know lightning cable and full metal body no glass back but full metal body the design never gets old you know if you can see that 
besides any android phone or old android phone this looks very fresh and new so like i tell you know some things never gets old right so this is one of that and the build quality is very good and you also have that dedicated you know silent button like all the apple phones silent off silent on exactly so that's you know like the, this phone as well this phone gets also there's the same button silent button so i just need to take the screen on yeah exactly so it's got also the silent button here sorry due to the yeah as you can see silent on silent on and silent off yeah similarly it has the same option you know like apple's key feature okay so anyways and definitely it's an iphone so you hardly get disappointed thank you guys thank you for watching my video and if you like it please subscribe it so that inspire me to make more videos and my channel is very initial stage so your help is needed guys so i can share whatever i have you know whatever i'm using to you guys so you know you don't have to face any problem so you know we can share our experience so and about the battery you cannot expect a whole day life from there you can only expect uh, you have to charge twice a day uh, or if you if you are the basic user like you just check email you just take calls and sometimes watch youtube you might you know with the settings good settings and you know um, location and everything turned off badness and the minimum you can still manage to get a whole day but that depends on the you know the battery condition of the phone if you get 90% 85% of battery health then you can you know use it like this phone and i will i'm going to show you how to check the battery health so in the battery option of the phone you can go and check battery health as you can see this phone has 80% so it never lasts for one day to be really honest so that's all guys thank you for watching have a great day